In this video, we're going to be covering going to be covering the Wing Chun Chain Punching, or Lin Wan Kyun. Now, anyone who's ever watched a Wing Chun movie has seen them punch like this, to where they're immediately moving in toward the opponent and just, as they're either advancing toward them or going down. Now, the way they use them in the movies most of the time, because I've seen examples like uh, Ip Man and Mortal Kombat, to where Kung Lao is doing the same type of strike, to where they're getting, they're inside the person, call, call me Mario for a moment, yeah. and just immediately getting inside that person, to where they're just immediately striking. And if this were really happening on his inside, he could immediately, like, strike with his other hand coming around. You stop me? He could even, like, if he's, and realistically, if he's seeing me coming toward him like this, he can just immediately move off the line and strike at me. No, you're fine. <laughs> so, it's not realistic in that sense. What you would do it ideally for is, first, let's analyze this a little bit. It won't just be striking repeatedly with no care whatsoever as what's going down. So, what you would need to do, ideally what you would need to do is, First, get to the person's outside if he's coming in with a strike. Get to this outside, and then as I'm striking, it's not just me hitting them. I want to make sure that I'm maintaining contact with the with my hand, usually on the ulna side of the arm, striking in so that I know. Because if I'm striking him like this, and he realizes that he's lost contact, so he can like pull that arm back to strike me with the other hand. And I'd be finished. But this way, when I'm making contact, I can feel if he's trying to pull that arm back and collapse it and continue to strike. Now, I personally would not want to do a chain punching technique on a person either way. Uh, I definitely wouldn't want to try to, like, move up and down his body. It's – I would want my other hand to maintain contact with his hand that's extended in some way to where I'm, like, doing a pop da. And then from there, I could either strike as I pull this arm down, or if he's hitting at me with the other hand at this point, pull that one over as I strike in. One way we practice the chain punching as a drill is that we get into a sort of a, a turning stance facing forward, and we shuffle to where we step slide. And as we step slide, we deliver three punches of the chain punches. So it's you can turn to the other side. So that being said, another thing that I've seen, not necessarily in movies, but in competitions. People who've just uh, studied the Selim Dao level of Wing Chun and attempt to go against fires immediately just try to move in with punches doesn't work because the person because the opponent can just easily get off the line and attack. So chain punching is useful to a point, but not in a way where you want that to be your only weapon. So. My apologies for not going over how this was done in the form earlier, but we've got the tuts out. We've got the left hand out first. One, two, three. Make two fists. Chain punching. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Now from there, we tan sao and hyun sao. But this time as we wu sao, our left foot is going to open up into a turning stance. We'll go more about, we'll talk more about this when we get into Chum Q. And then back to Bai Zhang. Now, let's do, so, we've reached the end of this last section of, of the Selim Dao form, so let's go over that again. Left hand out, right hand up, Tut Sao, one, two, Three, that was the freeing arm. Now, Lin Wan Kyun chain punching. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Tan Sao, Hyun Sao, Wu Sao with Chorma Turning Stance. By John. Did you get it? <laughs> Give yourself a pat on the back, you burned it. So, that's been chain punching, and thank you for sticking so long with the Selim Dao form. Next video, we're going to be doing a entire demonstration of the form, going over the term terminology and translations. But until then, Carl, thank you so much for assisting me today. Thank you. And as for everyone else, stay safe, stay healthy, stay awesome. I'll see you all next time. Take care.